Hi kids! Isang matatag na araw. I'm Sir Noy and welcome to Mat Bilang. This video will teach you how to measure and draw angles using a protractor. Also, you will learn how to identify the parts of a protractor and understand its function. Accurately measure angles using a protractor and correctly draw angles of specific measurements. But first, let's have a review. A review about our past lesson about the kinds of angles. I have here some words that are scrambled. You're going to give the correct answer of the following. First, it measures 90 degrees. It forms a square corner. Very good! It's a right angle. Second, it measures less than 90 degrees. It is smaller than a right angle. Correct! It's an acute angle. The third one, it measures more than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees. Correct! It's an obtuse angle. Very good kids! You are now ready to our next lesson. Now, I have here this object. What is it? Bravo! It's a protractor. But where do we use and how to use a protractor? A protractor is a semicircular tool used to draw and measure angles. It is marked with degrees from 0 to 180 degrees. Let's learn the parts of a protractor. This is the outer scale. This is the inner scale. Our baseline and the center. Measuring angles using a protractor. How to measure angles using a protractor? Let's have this angle ABC. Place the center of a protractor to the vertex. As we can see, the measure of this angle is 40 degrees. So angle ABC is 40 degrees. It is an acute angle. How about this angle? Let's place the center of a protractor to the vertex. As you can see, the line points between 40 degrees and 50 degrees. So, the angle is 45 degrees. How about this angle? What is the measure of this angle? Yes, it is 120 degrees. Let's measure this angle. It's a straight line going up. Yes, it's a right angle. That means this angle is 90 degrees. How about this angle? It's in the middle of 120 and 130 degrees. That means it's a 125 degree angle. Very good kids! And now, let's learn how to draw angles using a protractor. How to draw angles using a protractor. Let's draw an angle ABC or an 80 degree angle. Using a protractor, let's plot letters A, B, C. Letter B is our vertex. So, it is in the center of our protractor. Letter C is in the zero degree. We will point letter A to the given degree of an angle. We will point letter A to 80 degrees. And using the bottom part of a protractor, or you may use a ruler to connect the dots. Let's draw two rays by connecting B and C and points A and B. And now, we have drawn angle ABC measuring 80 degrees. Let's try to draw angle DEF measuring 150 degrees. Let's plot E as our vertex and F 0 degree. And plot D to the given degree. We will point D to 150 degrees. And now, let's connect the points by drawing two rays. 
connect points E and F and points D and E. And this is our angle DEF, measuring 150 degrees. And now, let's draw angle XYZ, measuring 100 degrees. Let's point X and Y and point X to the given degrees. Let's now draw two rays by connecting the dots. Points Y and Z and points X and Y. And now, this is our angle XYZ, measuring 100 degrees. Activity time! Activity number 1. Measure the following angles using your protractor. You can download the hard copy of this activity on the description box. Activity number 2 Time's up! Let's now answer! Number 1. Angle HIJ. This is angle HIJ, measuring 140 degrees. Number 2. This is angle LMN, measuring 35 degrees. Number 3. This is angle QRS, measuring 95 degrees. Number 4. Angle ABC, measuring 170 degrees. And number 5, Angle UVW, measuring 10 degrees. Let's learn again. How do we measure angles? Angles are measured in degrees using a protractor. How to draw angles? Step 1, draw a line segment, AB. Step 2. Place the center of the protractor on point A such that the line segment A and B is aligned with the line of the protractor. Step 3. Starting from 0, mark the point C in the paper as per required angle. And step 4. Join points A and C to the angle BAC is the required angle. Always remember... When measuring and drawing angles, move up your protractor scale from 0 degrees and find the measurement you want for your angle. If you're drawing an acute angle, make sure you're looking at the scale numbers that are less than 90 degrees. If you're drawing an obtuse angle, use the scale numbers that are greater than 90 degrees. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and like my Facebook page. Happy learning!